What up, everybody? This is I am Hotep Jed Mutalib Atum L. Uh, coming to you straight, live and direct at the West Coast. Peace to all the Nuwabian Moors worldwide. Um, even though y'all might never see this video, uh, peace to everybody in the struggle that is a little confused when they enter the struggle, especially with child support. And uh, there's only one other person that can help you besides myself, I feel, at this point. There's been so many lies, so much deception. Uh, you got teams of niggas on the internet like G. Alex, uh, uh, Wasil Bay, and then Amin Osiris is actually still giving props to Wasil Bay. Now, this, this puzzles me, okay? Wasil Bay has been quoted talking shit about Amin Osiris because I heard it from one of my clients. I actually called Amin Osiris and he said, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm, that's not a problem. You know, I was the first one doing it. <laughs> you know how his personality is. It's, uh, oh, I'm untouchable. I'm a god. <laughs> <laughs> now we know that's bullshit. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just stating for the facts that people are out to swindle you, right? Now, there's only one other person. I'm not going to keep bigging him up uh, like that. But if you've seen some of my older videos, a matter of fact, the video I just made today, uh, you'll know who that person is. You know, and props, you know, keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing. Ah. In our language, you say ah, who, but, you know, it still means brother. So I just want to explain the straw man theory, all right? Because. A lot of people are using this drama and theory just to get money, just to get money. Now, I'll do multiple videos on the fallacy and the fiction of the straw man. Now, there is something called the straw man theory in law, but it's not a separate person from you. And let me get one thing straight to everybody. The name that your mama gave you is your name. Whether it's lowercase, uppercase, properly spelled, common name, it's your name. I don't want to hear nobody. I don't want to hear none of my clients saying, oh, you know, the captain that you want to lose. You want to lose the case because I could show you thousands of case laws where people tried to use that in the sovereign citizen movement, tax protesters, people who just don't want to own up to their obligations. That's not a man, though. If you owe some money, you owe it. You give what to Caesar, what is Caesar's, and you give to the Lord, what is the Lord's? And then if there's anything left, you keep it. But I'm not saying pay 100% out of your profit to taxes. That's not what I'm saying, but pay your fair share. You know, pay your fair share. And if you do cash transaction, you ain't got to record. You ain't got to pay nothing. So it's the way that you do it. You know what I'm saying? So let's. I'm going to read this. All right, straw man theory also called the straw man illusion is a pseudo legal theory prevalent in various movements such as sovereign citizen tax protester free man on the land the redemption movement and various get out of debt free scams the theory holds that an individual has two personas one of him or herself as a real flesh and blood human being and the other a separate legal personality or person usually written in capitals who is the straw man? The idea is that an individual's debts, liabilities, taxes, legal responsibilities belong to the straw man rather than the physical individual who ran up those obligations, conveniently allowing one to escape their debts and responsibilities. Now, that, that sounds real good to somebody who's in trouble, right? Like, say, you go up to, like, Wasil Bay, hey, you know, I, I'm trying to get out of this day. I'm trying to get a child support. Oh, okay, well, here's these packets. Send them to like 80 different agencies and voila, you're done. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> if life was that easy, man, I hate to laugh, but if life was that easy, I'd be a billionaire. A billion. Oh, that ain't me. That's just my capital name, baby. That ain't me. Shit. I'm George. I'm Mr. Smith. You know, I'm George. You know what I'm saying? That, that ain't me. <laughs> yeah uh that i'm pretty sure that's gonna work with somebody who's been to law school these judges some of them may be really crooked these judges ain't stupid man 
judges are actually pretty smart people. They've gone to school. They've gotten their degrees. They've put in 15, 20 years of work. I mean, these people are not stupid. And you approaching it like they stupid and they gone, they're going to hit you with a penalty. You know, you're going to have to end up paying or going to jail. You know, now, if you have the right defense, you don't have to do either. So anyway, straw man theory should not be confused with the actual legal concept of straw person with which it only bears a tenuous similarity or with the logical fallacy known as the straw man argument. The straw man theory is recognized in law but only as a scam. The FBI considers anyone promoting it a likely fraudster and the IRS considers it a frivolous argument that will get you a $5,000 fine if you use it on your tax return. You know what I'm saying? So the FBI and the IRS, they on it. Just because they on it don't mean it's, you can't do it. But the majority of what they see in is fraudulent activity. So anybody saying anything about the legal straw man, be highly suspicious, highly suspicious. I'm telling you. All right, so the history. Straw man theory traces its origins to the ancient Roman legal practice of capitis diminutio, decrease of head or decrease of um, the household, the head of household. A term used in Roman trials for the extinguishment of a person's formal legal capacity capitis diminutio minima meant a person ceased to belong to a particular family without loss of liberty or citizenship capitis diminutio media involved loss of citizenship and family but not liberty capitis diminutio maxima involved loss of family citizenship and liberty e.g. being a slave or a prisoner of war. The term was later revived in the U.S. by, a, by the tax protester and sovereign citizen movements. Y'all want to stay away from them. Yeah, yeah, you want to stay away from that. And combined with a misreading of the definition of person from Black Law's Dictionary, strawman theory takes the term capitus diminutia, misspells it, and claims that capitus diminutio maxima was represented by an individual's name being written entirely in capital letters, even though Latin only had capital letters back then. This led to the idea that individuals had a separate legal personality, now called a straw man, represented in capitals. Straw man theory holds that an individual has two personas. One of them is physical, tangible human being, and the other as a legal person personality or straw man often referred to as a legal fiction the term legal fiction is used by woos as if it were synonymous with intangible rather than using its correct meaning the main use of straw man theory is in escaping and denying that debts liabilities and legal responsibility tax protesters commercial redemption and get out of free scams claim that one's debts and taxes are the responsibility of straw man and not of the real person, freeing the real person from the need to pay them. Sovereign citizen movements and free men on the land also extend this concept to law and legal responsibilities by claiming that it is only their straw man that is required to adhere to statutory laws such as paying taxes, having licenses, and obeying traffic laws. They also claim that all legal proceedings in courts are taken against your straw man rather than you as a person, and that when one appears in court, they appear not as themselves, but as representing their straw man. The justification for this is their false notion that governments cannot force anybody to do anything against their will. They therefore create a straw man, which being in their own creation, they are free to boss about at will. Woos believe that separating oneself from their straw man or refusing to be identified as their straw man can escape their various liabilities and responsibilities, such as paying their debts or obeying laws they don't like. This is typically done by denying that they are a person and the same thing as their straw man or by writing their name in a various bizarre ways, such as the following. And y'all can take a look at that. By doing this, they are refusing to represent the straw man. In addition to capitals, the use of titles such as Mr. and Mrs. are claimed to indicate a reference to a person's straw man. 
Surnames are also typically referred to as part of the legal fiction, and advocates will often insist that they don't have a surname, but rather a family name. Some Wu's believe that the straw man is created by the government when the birth certificate is filed. Wu's sometimes then try and present their birth certificate when their straw man's name is called for, such as in court. All right. So th I love this last part because it has so much uh, implication and, uh, and substantial meaning in law. Like it, it came from a judge, right? This debunking portion. So let, let me read this. It should be noted that there is a legal principle known as idiom sonans, Latin for sounding the same, which states that similar sounding names are just as valid in referring to a person. The relevant UK president is R versus Davis, 1851. If two names spelt differently necessarily sound alike, the court may, as a matter of law, pronounce them to be idem sonantia. But if they do not necessarily sound alike, the question whether they are idem sonantia is a question of fact for the jury. The straw man believe seems to stem from a misunderstanding of the concept of legal personhood. In actual legal theory, there's a difference between what is known as a natural person, which is a human being, i.e. not a legal fiction, and that of a corporate person, a legal fiction having a corporate personhood, which applies to businesses, charities, governments, and any recognized organization. Courts recognize human beings as persons not as legal fiction joined to a flesh and blood human being, but as one and the same, though in the past not everyone was recognized as a person before the law. They have never recognized the right to distance oneself from one's person or the ability to opt out of personhood. Hold up. It's saying that the law has never recognized a right to distance oneself from one's person. So... I know this is from rationalwiki.org and I'll find more case law. I'll, I'll, we'll read case law next, uh, my next part. But this is saying right here, you know, on its face that the law has never recognized you can opt out <laughs> of an obligation because of a capital letter name. It's ridiculous, man. It's spread like wildfire. It's been going on for 25, 30 years now. All right. So let me read on. Where this difference has been tried in court, judges have rejected it. It is impossible to dodge the law by insisting that you are different from your person. If a court can establish your identity, regardless of your consent or cooperation, then it is free to engage in proceedings and sanctions against you. The use of block capitals to fill in forms is often used as evidence for the existence of straw men. The idea is that the form is asking for your straw man's identity. In reality, this is done for ease for ease of reading by humans and computers alike. It is not evidence of some legal conspiracy. All right. So, you know, they, they get into free man on the land. That's the guy in Canada. Pseudo law, wishful thinking. And that's all this is. You're trying to get out of a debt. And you're going through all, you're wasting life and time on this planet by going through some, I won't even, I won't even say it. You're going through some crap. You're just going through some crap to try to get out of a debt. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. What you need to do is engage in business. Start your own business and pay. It's like, you know, Wasil Gay, he started his business. It's based on fraud, but... You know, he started his business and he, he making some money, you know, um, hopefully he stops making some money because it's all based off fraud. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not to decide the most high, you know, I knew, you know, the creator will decide his fate, not me. So anyway, I'm out. I uh, hope everybody is having a good day. You know, uh, put that warmth in your heart, man. Uh you need that, you know, make sure you got a good woman too. I just, you know, I've been with my lady for, you know, I think for four months now and too bad I didn't meet her about, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, only, only the most high knows when I'm going to meet, you know, the love of my life. So, 
you know, um, peace to everybody who follows me, pays attention to me. I'm only trying to give you the real, you know, or at least what I think is the real, you know, and what I feel got to be real. But it's also got to be backed up by facts if you're dealing with law. All right. So I'm going to leave it on that note. Everybody have a good day. Barukat wa shalom. That means peace and blessings.